Hi, I'm Eric with Farbike.com, and today I'm giving you a durability update on the Extreme XB300LI. Now I've been riding this bike as a daily commuter for about a year and a half, so I'm going to show you what I've done to it and what maintenance has been done to it, as well as how well it's running after a year and a half of riding about 10 miles every single day. So I've been using this bike to commute every day, five days a week, to and from work. It's about five miles each way. And so far it's been quite an enjoyable ride. Instead of taking the car, I get to be out in the breeze and everything. And as long as it's not raining, um, it's a pretty enjoyable ride. So just an idea of what can I expect out of this bike. Now it goes 20 miles an hour and it gets a 20 mile range. After a year and a half, the battery is still at about 90-95% capacity, which is pretty good. I'm still getting around 18 miles, 18-19 miles of range out of each charge. Now with this bike, there is one important bit of maintenance that's slightly different than on a normal bike. Now on this, you have your rear hub motor here in the center of the rear wheel. So when it spins, it's putting a lot of tension on these spokes when they spin around. So after a while, these spokes stretch and they loosen up and it might give you a little wobble in the back of the wheel. So after about six months, if you get your new bike, it's good to bring it into a bike shop and have it tightened up. Now in my case, I went about a year and then hopped the curb and it made it put a wiggle in the rear rim. So I brought it to the bike shop, they tightened it up, cost about $20 and I'm back on the road, it rides better than it ever did. Um, another interesting thing is this rear rack has been incredibly useful this whole time. Um, it's got this luggage clip so I can throw all my groceries and stuff on the back. And I even had a friend sit on the back and rode him about five blocks and he weighed about 150 pounds and without bending or warping the thing in any way. So it's held up quite well. Now one of the important parts of keeping maintenance up on your electric bike and with any bike is keeping your derailleur aligned. Now there's two screws that align this. Now you can tell if it's out of alignment if one, you're not hitting all seven gears, or if while you're riding you're hearing a lot of clicking or the chain is popping in and out, that means it's time to adjust your derailleur. And if you do that, you'll ride much more efficiently and much longer. Now another important part of maintenance is your disc brakes. Now your disc brakes should stop you quickly and smoothly and there shouldn't be any mush in the lines at all. Um, so if you're not stopping quickly, this bike stops very quick when your brakes are properly adjusted. So if you feel like your handles are loose or you're just not stopping fast enough, either look on YouTube on how to adjust your disc brakes or bring it into a bike shop and get it well tuned up. It's the brakes, it's the most important part of the bike. Now to give you a tour of any dings and scrapes on the bike. Now I keep it in pretty good condition and the only thing really that has happened to this bike so far was it fell over once and it made a little dent in the handle in the foot pedal right there which isn't too big a deal and the other thing that weirdly happened was that little cap right there on top of the uh, on top of the uh, fork came off. Now that doesn't do anything and it's still blocked so no water or anything gets in there. All it did was lock the thing down for shipping. Uh, but without it, really doesn't matter at all. But it fell off, just a weird thing. Other than that, whole thing's in pretty good shape. Nothing else has really gone wrong with the bike. So after a year and a half of owning this bike, I've really grown to love it. I've used it just about every work day and it has been a reliable way to get to and from work. Plus you get to be out in the sun, out enjoying your ride instead of being annoyingly stuck in traffic. Um, it's kept a charge every day. I've ridden in the rain and everything. It's held up. As long as you keep your bike in good, well maintained, it'll last as long as you do. So after a year and a half, battery's still going strong. Probably have another two years on that. So if you're interested, check it out at farbike.com. Uh, we have this is the XB 300 Li. We have a folding version, we have a women's version, and we have a compact version for all us apartment dwellers. So check that out, farbike.com. And if you have any questions, there's a phone number on the website. Give me a call. I'll answer the phone and I'll help you out with anything you like to know. So check that out.